So why does it seem so complicated to get a cyber liability policy? Well, one of the things that a lot of people don't realize is up until recently, cyber liability insurance as a line of coverage did not exist. There was no standard cyber insurance policy. There still isn't in many cases. Each carrier covers different types of costs, different incidents, and they have different terms and conditions on their policies, different exclusions. That makes it hard for you as a customer and even for a broker to really understand what's covered on a contract without really reading it and having it match what the client wants. It's not like you buy car insurance and they're all standard. It's not like a commodity. The biggest problem was a lack of education and understanding when it comes to the risk. You need to know what are the risks in your company that you have and what's going to be covered or what you want to have covered. You may not be able to cover everything, but you want to cover the ones that are important to you that could be deal breakers for your company. In many cases, it's because there's a false sense of security where companies don't realize what their risks are. A lot of companies think I'm not going to be a target for hackers. Nobody wants to hack me. I'm just a small mom and pop company. I'm a maybe a mid-sized manufacturer. Um, why would they want to target me? And a lot of times companies don't have the time to study what the threats are and realize how big they are. Hackers play a numbers game, right? They don't just say we're going after the biggest companies because sometimes the biggest companies are the worst ones to try to hack because they have a lot of budget going into prevention. A lot of times the better bang for the buck is to try to target mid or small size companies, one million to five million in revenue because they may not have a big budget for cyber protection and they might be really quick to write a check for 30 40 grand just to get you out of your hair right and companies nowadays are all tech companies a lot of manufacturing firms or construction companies think look i'm not a tech company why do i need cyber insurance well you have a computer don't you you have a website you have a management system online you maybe you have a um accounts receivable accounts payable, maybe use QuickBooks. All those are technical platforms. And a cyber attacker infiltrating those platforms can do a lot of damage. They can hold you hostage. Uh, they can get your customer data. And in addition to the losses you would incur from the damage, many times you have to pay penalties and fines because your customer's data was breached. So make sure that you understand what your risk might be for cyber insurance, whether you buy a policy or not. Make sure that you put some protection against uh, the loss in the first place. Even if you have insurance, you're going to have to put protections in place. Otherwise, your insurer probably won't even pick up your policy.